All right, here now with the uh, lot of numbers over from the Archdiocese in New York is John Cardinal uh, O'Connor. Good morning, Cardinal O'Connor. <laughs> yeah, Good morning, God bless. Good morning, Cardinal O'Connor. Let me say this, eh, Mr. Marge. Right. The only thing you have in common with Hemingway is that you look like you've been shot in the face, you moron. <laughs> oh, that will be fine. God's other son, indeed. Yeah. Of all the filthy, blasphemous pieces of trash, be Jesus. <laughs> I tell you what the crowd over at Wallen Books thought was laugh out loud funny about the book, I, Mr. Marge. Oh, what was that? It was the price tag in your picture on the back, <laughs> Jesus. That's quite a hoot, I, Mr. Marge. The picture belongs in a Stephen King novel, I that tell you that, you schmuck, you. That would be fine. You yeah. know what will happen to me before you win a Pulitzer Prize, eh, Mr. Mark? <laughs> no. Clarence Thomas will sing Mammy in front of the National Organization for Women, be Jesus. That will be fine. Do Siskel we will go down on Ebert, I tell you that, you <laughs> schmuck, you. Do we have any numbers? I don't care if it rains or freezes, as long as the Iron Man dies, be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you get an amen, Rapino. <laughs> you little queer, you <laughs> shut up. <laughs> the winning numbers in the New York State Lottery is as follows. <laughs> the daily number. What? Four, two, zero. Oh, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> well, watching on television, I miss the barn. Yeah. The finish line at the marathon looked like an illegal border crossing near Tijuana, Mexico, to Jesus. Andale, andale, you muddy gorgeous. <laughs> Congratulations to that hot-looking babe, the Kenyan women's woman. <laughs> that would be enough. Stop there. Tell you what, that new Mercedes, she want to look nice in the driveway of her hut. <laughs> Bloody joke. That would be... God bless Proposition 187, <laughs> eh, Mr. Mars? That would be enough. Oh, the Daily Number. What are they? The Windfall Number, 2944. Yeah. Speaking of TV, I miss Namar. Yeah. Was that Cagney and Lacey last night or Cagney, Cagney and Limbaugh, be Jesus? I don't big? know. Let me say this to Cab Calloway, look like Ed Bradley from 60 Minutes, be Jesus. The earring is pathetic. Wake up, you're an old black man with gray hair. <laughs> you look like a bloody photo negative, be Jesus. <laughs> the pick 10 number says it's solid. What? <laughs> now we get to the pick 10 numbers, I miss Namar. What? Gather around the radio, boys and girls. Oh, here we go. Uh -oh. The Cardinal has a little election eve limerick. Oh, good. I like these. Good. Entitled, The Eye Man, Political Broker or Loudmouth Joker. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he put fat-legged Clinton in the White House and her hubby Bill, the perverted louse. Politicians and pundits have I missed there and all. But to the average listener, he's a pompous bore. <laughs> Listen to him chat with Paul Begala. I'd rather suck face with Donna Shalala. <laughs> <laughs> he likes Marion Barry, hates the tomahawk chop. A white Uncle Tom whose heart should just stop. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're weak and find that my aim is you're persuaded, remember this man in a phone booth once urinated, be Jesus. <laughs> that will be fine. Well, come on, throw the schmucks out, be Jesus. The big turn numbers is as follows. Do you hear the bad news, eh, Mr. Mark? <laughs> no. I'm just after a visit to the Boston Archdiocese. Right. We found out what Rose Kennedy said when she heard poor Jackie Onassis had passed away. Now, this, uh, don't just stop here. This is just, just eliminate this. Just hold it. She wondered, was Teddy driving? <laughs> that would be fine. Oh, the old woman. The picture numbers is as follows. <laughs> 1, 2, 5, 6, 13, 15, 17, 20, 25, 29, 33, 35, 40, 41, 49, 52, 67, 72, 74, Ooh! 75. All right, <laughs> uh, thank you, Cardinal O'Connor. Which doesn't belong in Y? Oh, I'm sorry. Which doesn't belong in Y? Which doesn't belong in Y? All right. Eh? Jesus. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Eh? Abby Hoffman. Abby Hoffman. B? Truman Capote. B? Truman Capote. C? I miss in the morning. Which doesn't belong in Y? Well, clearly, I miss in the morning. Ron, yeah. you two legged hammer idea. <laughs> but all three of these dead or dead looking fat mouths were big in the 60s. Yeah. And have had frivolous books published. Yeah. The answer is A. Abby Hoffman doesn't belong because unlike the other two, uh -oh. Abby Hoffman never choked on a penis, be Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, come on. I mean, that was, it was fine up to then. Ah, you go on ahead. Move. <laughs>